So France is going to be in Lissa's next faction, and although it hasn't been confirmed, it is most likely the case. Therefore, I have decided to make up the French tech tree for Enlisted, and of course, I didn't do this alone, I did this with a friend, very noticeably Stalinium, who has helped me suggest and give me some of the weapons that I use in this tier list. And yes, I am going to be doing a full-blown tier list for Enlisted, covering the rifles, the SMGs, the LMGs, the heavy equipment, the tanks, and the planes, and the pistols. So therefore, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the French tech tree, which hasn't been Enlisted yet. But that said, Thank you very much for Stalinium for your help, thank you very much for the Discord for your support, and before we even get started, I have to say, if you haven't liked, subscribe, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you do, and let's get started. Before we start, sorry, the tier list that you are going to be seeing very soon is going to be heavily influenced on the current enlisted tier list that they have reworked and remade. So if there's any issue that you think there is, just know that this is subject to change. But that's it, let's get started. In terms of the rifle, we have the Labelle Model 1886 rifle, the Labelle Melee 1886, M93R35. In terms of tier 2, we have the British M1890, the M1907, the M1916 carbines. Now the reason why tier 2 and tier 1 are going to be very similar to what we have in game is because they're exactly that. They're essentially copy and paste from the one we have in game and into the new French faction. But that said, let's move on to tier 3, which is the Mass 36, which is once again in game. In terms of tier 4, we have the RSC M1917, which is a 5 round French semi automatic rifle, with the M1 carbine, which is American semi automatic rifle with 8 rounds, and the Mass 44, which is a 10 round French semi automatic rifle. In terms of tier 5, we have the M2 carbine because France doesn't really have a good rifle in tier 5, or should I say equivalent to the FG-42 or the M2 carbine. In terms of SMGs, we have the Shoshant 1918, followed by in tier 2 the RTVS and the Master 24, and in tier 3 we have the STA 1924, Mass 38, and Melee 39. All of these are essentially very similar to the German SMGs, and, and they'll pretty much play out like them. In terms of tier 4, we have the M1A1, the M1, and the M21 box magazine, for which is essentially a copy and paste from the Americans, and so is tier 5 with the STG44, because the Germans did give the French some STG44s, most primarily in the Axis divisions of the SS, such as the Charlemagne. But that said, let's move on to the LMG department with the Shoshan, and the FM2429, which is also known by a different name, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. These are going to be like the ZB26 and the Shoshot we have in-game. In tier 2, we have essentially upgraded ZB26s, and these are going to be the Hotchkiss 1909 and 1922. In terms of tier 3, we have the Browning M1918A1 and m 19 18A2 from the Americans. In tier 4, we have the MAC Milli 1931, which is essentially a French Vickers machine gun with 100 round drum magazine. And in terms of tier 5, we have the Darn M 1922, 100 round belt magazine, which was originally used for anti aircraft, but now I'm going to deciding to give it for the French infantry, which is also very likely considering the fact that the Germans also have the MG 15. And the reason why tier but that said, let's move on to the heavy equipment in terms of the boys' anti-tank rifle, the Brandt MLE 1935, which is a French mortar, similar to the M2 mortar. And we have the tier 2, which is the Piet, the M1 bazooka, and the AX2, which is a French, essentially a French motorcycle. In terms of tier 3, we have all American equipment with the flamethrowers and the bazookas. And the tier 4, we have the M2 and the 81mm French mortar, which is amazing. In terms of tanks, we have the most in terms of the tanks, we have the most interesting part, such as the Panhar 178, the FCM 36, and the Renault R35. Now, the latter two are essentially French infantry support tanks, and they have very good armor but very terrible guns. In terms of tier two, we have the Char D2 and the Suma S35, which are French cavalry tanks, which have good speed, good armor, and very bad gun, but are followed by a Char B1 Bis. This thing is essentially a French Grant, but more armor, so that's insane. In terms of tier 3, we have the American equipment such as the M4A2 and the M4A3 with the 105mm gun. 
which is currently not enlisted right now. But in terms of the French equipment, we have the ACL-1, which is essentially an ARL with a 75mm gun and a different turret. In terms of tier 4, we have an M10 with a Lorraine 37L and M4A176W. The Lorraine 37L is essentially a French Nashorn, so that's going to be interesting with a 75mm gun. In terms of tier 5, we have the ARL, which is essentially a French late war tank similar to the Tiger with 120mm in frontal armor and a 90mm gun with essentially no armor on the sides and back. In terms of the planes, we have the French domestic planes such as the D500, the H75A1, the V156F, the MS410, the BR63, the BR693AB2, the Pulitz 930, which is in-game, the VG33C1, and the Pulitz 631, which is not in-game. And after that, we have the MB157, followed by the American Hellcat and the King Cobra. Currently, the King Cobra is not in-game, so I would see France getting the King Cobra as an addition, specifically to the French tech tree. And in Tier 5, we have the Corsair, which is essentially an uh, upgraded P47, which is amazing. In terms of uh, pistols, we have the Model 1892 Revolver, the FM Model 910, and the Model 1935A. And that is all for the tech tree. Now, with the end of the tech tree, most of you will be thinking, so how does France play like? What what does it play as? And while I was doing the research, that was the question that I was asking myself. And to answer that question is pretty simple. In terms of the rifle department, the French almost play like the Japanese and the British with their good rifles, early game rifles, but terrible semi-automatic rifles such as the RSC 1917, if Enlisted does this. If not, then we have a different scenario completely. But in terms of everything else, the French are pretty much jack of all trades with the American weapons in terms of the rifles, and the exact same thing can be said for their SMGs because France has worse SMGs than their rifles. In terms of the LMGs, we have the Shoshan, the Hotchkiss, and the Browning 1918, which are all 20 round magazines for their machine guns. Hence, very similar to the Italian light machine guns, with the tier 4 and 5s being essentially British or American machine guns, because the MAC MLE 1931 is essentially the Vickers with a 100 round magazine, almost pretty much like the recoil, and the Darn is pretty much, in my opinion, like either the RD44 or the Browning 100 round magazine, 100 round belt fed. So that's going to be very interesting. In terms of hit equipment, it's just copy and paste Americans. In terms of tanks and planes, is where we get interesting. And in my opinion, most players will probably play the French just because of their tanks. And let's get this straight. France has a lot of good tanks, especially in the early tier, such as the Char B1, the FCM36, and the Renault R35. The only issue is the fact that you have to penetrate these tanks or be able to kill these tanks and the fact that you can't get kills in these things, so that's going to be kind of even. Of course, there are certain vehicles that they absolutely suck, such as the FCM-36, which from my experience in War Thunder, which doesn't mean much in Enlisted, you really can't penetrate. Uh, in terms of Tier 2, you have very good replacements, the Char D2, Suma S35, and Char B1. All of these are very, very good tanks at their role, the Char B1 being a frontline heavy tank, a Char the D2 and the Suma S35 are essentially going to be French flanking tanks. In terms of Tier 3, you have the M4A2, which are the Americans, and the M4A3, 105. Now, we don't know if Enlisted is going to be doing that, but if it does, very good. And in terms of Tier 3 and Tier tier 5, we have very bad French tanks with the exception of the ARL-44 and the American tanks that are going to be added. So, that's very interesting. In terms of plane, France also does not struggle with very good planes. Mostly all of their planes have 20mm Vickers or 20mm Hispano or 20mm French cannons. Although, historically, these cannons have very little ammunition. But that said, they do end their tech tree with the Corsair, which in my opinion is one of the best planes. And if Enlisted does add this, which I think they would, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure they would. In terms of the pistols, it's just check of all trades. So overall, to recap the entire situation, France is very good in terms of the tank and plane department, 
with the late tier machine gun department, so that's gonna be that. But that said, everything is subject to change because once again, I am not enlisted and this is just a preview of, of what we might be seeing, so this is not completely the case. But I would like to know your guys' opinions, please comment in the comment section down below. Thank you very much to the Discord and Stalinium for making this possible, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.